In this Excel video, I'll show you how to use the Excel Icons tool to add some nice visuals to your spreadsheets. Let's get started. So here I am in Excel, and I have an inventory of sorts, and I have some products listed here. That's good, but I want to include a visual, just so there's a cue to remind me of what each of these is. Icons are perfect for this, and to find the icons, I just need to go to Insert, and then look in the Illustrations group. Depending on the version of Excel that you're using, you should see the Icons tool there in the Illustrations group. So I'll click on Icons, and I can now do a search of hundreds or thousands of icons that Microsoft has available for me to use. So I'm going to search for pencil, and I get four different options. I like this one. I'll click on it and choose insert. Now, with my icon selected, there are a few things I can do to change it. If I want it to be smaller, I can click on any of these corner handles and then drag to shrink the icon or make it bigger if I want to. It's important in most cases to use those corner handles because that way it preserves the aspect ratio of the icon. It doesn't warp how it looks. If you use these other handles, you can see it does warp and change the icon dramatically. Now there is another way to resize an icon. If you click on the icon, you should get a graphics format tab. And when you click on that, it shows the height and width of the icon. And so you can adjust it that way as well. And notice the way this is set up, if you change the width, the height is also adjusted equally. With my icon still selected, notice that I can go here again to the graphics format tab and I could change the fill color of this pencil. So I could make it red or orange, blue, or I could keep it black. In this case, I think I'll make it dark blue. If I want to, I can also change the graphics outline. So right now, it just has a blue outline that matches the fill color. But if I go here to graphics outline, I could change it to be black, and it just gives it a little bit different look. Okay, there are a few other changes I can make to this icon. Again, with it selected, by going here to the graphics format tab, I could add some graphics effects, like I could give it a shadow, and I kind of like that effect, actually. I think it looks pretty cool. And there are other graphics effects as well. Give it a glow or a 3D rotation. So there really are some nice options there in graphics effects. I could also go up here to rotate. And yes, I could rotate the pencil. But I could also flip it vertically or I could flip it horizontally. So just depending on what makes sense for your spreadsheet, there are lots of different options that you have. Okay, I'm gonna shrink this down a little more and then I'll just click and drag and drop it where I want it to be in my spreadsheet. Now, of course, I could go up to insert again and choose icons and search for sticky notes. And if it ever doesn't find what you're looking for, just try different search terms. When I changed it from sticky notes to just notes, I got a perfect icon for this product. I can click insert and I've got the sticky notes. I can click on the sticky notes, go to graphics format, and change the fill color if I want to, and the outline color if I want, and then I can click and drag and drop it exactly where I want it to be. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you two more ways you can use icons in your spreadsheets, but for now, I'm just gonna again go to Insert, Icons, and I'm gonna search for Clipboard. I get all sorts of options here. Select it, insert it, and it's good to go. I am gonna resize it though. Okay, so give me a minute to find icons for these other products, and then I'll resume the video. Okay, so I was easily able to find a good icon for each of these products. Before I end the video, I want you to know that there are times when you may need to overlap some of these symbols. And if you do, sometimes the wrong symbol is toward the top and the wrong one is toward the bottom. So how could you fix that? Again, you would go to the Graphics Format tab, and that's only going to be visible if you've clicked on a graphic, in this case, an icon. So I've clicked on the Sticky Notes icon, I go to Graphics Format, and there you have the Arrange group. And you can simply say that you want to send backward, in this case, the Sticky Notes. So you can overlap it the way you want to. You can also bring forward. And if there are three or more icons or other graphic elements on top of each other, 
Then you could choose, instead of send backward or bring forward, you could choose send all the way to the back or bring all the way to the front. That's what those mean. Okay, I want to show one other way you can use these icons. If you want to, you can select an icon, go to the Insert tab, and set it up as basically a button to the internet. So for example, I'll click here on this pencil, go to the Insert tab, and here in the Links group, I'll click on Link, and I want to link to an existing file or web page, but I could use it to link to a place in this document or to an email address. For now though, I'm just gonna link it to a web address, and in this case, some free advertising, I guess, for pencils.com. I'm going to link to pencils.com. So I click OK. And now whenever someone clicks on this pencil icon, it's going to open up pencils.com. So icons really can add a nice touch to your Excel spreadsheets. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my amazing super techie and ultra techie channel members. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. Really appreciate you.